So a lot of you asked me a very specific question. Could Kylo Ren use the force to lift Thor's hammer, Mjolnir? Well, I think I've come up with a pretty good answer that's sure not to make any nerds angry about anything. Nerds getting angry? Come on. The specifics of this question comes from D. Pity. Can Kylo Ren, or another Force user for that matter, move Mjolnir? Doesn't he have to be worthy? Could this gif happen? First, we'd have to establish how Thor's hammer works. Thankfully, we've already done that in a previous episode. My favorite explanation is that Thor's hammer has some kind of dwarven Norse nanotechnology that is a hand or fingerprint sensing system that lets the user manipulate gravitons or the particles that transmit gravity. If the hammer can manipulate gravitons, then it can change local gravity around it, making it as heavy or as light as it wants to be. This is what lets Thor fly around using momentum and prevents anyone who's not worthy from picking it up. And this explanation, first from Professor James Kakalios, a physics professor, has actually been established in the Indestructible Hulk number eight. Hmm. So we have some parameters here. Thor's hammer cannot be wielded emphasis on wielded by those who are unworthy because some kind of nanotechnology recognizes the grasp of those that are unworthy and can change how much gravity is acting upon the hammer through the emission of gravitons. But what about someone trying to move Thor's hammer? At least in the modern MCU, you never see Thor's hammer move without Thor. We don't even see it on the ground getting kicked over by an ice giant or something. But this scene in Avengers Age of Ultron suggests that the hammer can move without Thor. If you put the hammer in an elevator, it would still go up. Elevator's not worthy. I'm gonna miss these little talks of ours. Yes, elevator still goes up. Hmm. This would imply that when the hammer is not being wielded, it is simply a 19 kilogram piece of metal on a stick. Wait for it. Wait for it! So what does this mean for Kylo Ren? Surprise lightsaber! Now watch this sidestep I'm about to do, all right? Are you watching? Huh. I have no idea what the Force is. It's a fantastical construct, but I do know that the Force exerts, well, a force. While it may be mysterious, the force is nothing more than a gravitational force acting down on this hammer or the tension between the hammer and my arm. A force is a force is the force. So if Kylo Ren tried to lift Thor's hammer with the force, again assuming that Thor's hammer registers worthiness through touch and wielding alone and not movement alone like in the elevator example, Kylo should be able to. This also means that Thor could put his hammer down on something like a book and you should be able to lift the book because you are just lifting a 19 kilogram piece of metal and not activating the hammer's worthiness detector because you're not trying to wield it. And by the same logic, Magneto should be able to move Thor's hammer and this, for example, has already been established in the comics. So the gift from the original question was right. Kylo Ren should be able to move Thor's hammer to his hand, but once it gets there, it would register his unworthiness because of the whole um, dad thing. And then he wouldn't be able to activate Thor's hammer and wield it and he would drop to the ground. So Kylo Ren could lift Thor's hammer, but he could not. But all of this doesn't mean that no Force user couldn't wield Thor's hammer. Heck, I'm pretty sure that Rey is definitely worthy, although I'm unsure that the Asgardian weapon would deal very well against lightsaber. Oh, I'll be right back, I gotta go figure that out because science. Thank you so much for watching. At 
Braden Chaps on Twitter asks, could the helicarrier from the Avengers work? Well, uh, Braden, in principle, yes, the helicarrier could work, but in the movie, the fans that keep the thing spinning up in the sky, like, uh, you know, a quad helicopter, quadcopter thing, like a big drone, uh, they are not nearly big enough. Uh, think of it this way, each fan would have to be about the size of the helicarrier itself, and have four of them in the same configuration to actually lift that whole thing. So, get on that. Do you know what I like about Thor and other Marvel properties for that matter is that they don't try to trick you into believing what they're all about. So, how does Superman fly? Uh, uh he, he, he jumps really hard and he has anti-gravity organs? I, I don't know, see, it, Superman just doesn't really work, so it's hard to really invest yourself in him, at least for me, and Thor, how he flies, it actually follows the conservation of momentum, it makes sense. His hammer, if my little pet theory is correct, makes sense, it changes its weight, and it would prevent other people from picking it up. It, it makes sense. It's easier to get into heroes when they're using things from real life that you already are passionate about. If that's science and geekery, if you're passionate about, about, if you're passionate about being a geek, you're probably passionate about science and reality and learning. And when those two come together, it, it makes for a stronger bond. And that's what I like about Thor. Also, you know, 